In Excel, the Goal Seek tool can be used when we know the result that we want a specific formula to produce, but we don't know the precise input value that is needed to produce the desired result. Excel can solve these sorts of problems for us, but to do so, we need to provide it with three input values. First, we need to provide Excel with a reference to the cell that contains the formula we are trying to resolve. Next, we need to tell Excel the result or output value that we want the formula to produce. Finally, we need to tell Excel which input value it should change in order to get the formula to produce the desired result. With this information, Excel can then calculate the input value that is necessary to achieve our desired output value. Let's see an example. Using this car loan worksheet, we can see that if we want to borrow $17,000 to purchase a car at a 7% annual interest rate, then our monthly payment will be $336.62. Let's imagine, however, that the absolute maximum payment that we can afford is $300 per month. What interest rate would be required in order to get our monthly loan payment down to $300 per month? Excel's Goal Seek feature is the perfect tool for answering these kinds of questions. To use the Goal Seek tool, we first click on the Data ribbon. We then click on the What If Analysis drop down box and select the Goal Seek option. This will cause the Goal Seek dialog box to appear. As noted previously, the Goal Seek tool requires three input values. The first input value is the reference to the cell where we want our desired answer to appear. The cell should contain the formula in which we are interested. In our current example, we are interested in achieving a loan payment of $300 per month. Cell B10 on the worksheet contains the formula which calculates our loan payment. So I will select cell B10 as the set cell. Next, Excel asks us to specify our target output value. In this case, we want our loan payment to be $300 per month, so I will enter a value of 300 for the to value parameter. Finally, we need to provide Excel with a reference to the cell whose value it should change in order to get our formula to produce the desired result. In our example, we want to know which annual interest rate would be required in order for our car loan payment to be exactly $300 per month. So the value that we want Excel to change is the annual interest rate in cell B3. Thus, we have instructed Excel to set the loan payment equal to $300 by changing the annual interest rate. When we click the OK button, Excel informs us that it was able to find a solution to the problem. And when we click the OK button again, we can see that Excel has entered its solution to the problem in cell B3. We now know that if we want a monthly loan payment of exactly $300 when we have a $17,000 loan payable over 60 months, we will need an annual interest rate of 2.272%. As you can see, Excel's Goal Seek feature can be extraordinarily useful in helping us to find the input value that will get a formula to produce a specific output value.